love is to wish the good of the other purely for the sake of the other my dear brothers and sisters always remember this little sentence our life is all about love and truth our life is all about love and truth that is why in today's gospel jesus tells his apostles to love one another and in today's first reading we see the apostles putting into practice this commandment of jesus when they deal with the gentiles their dealing with the gentiles is very loving kind and compassionate they do not overburden the gentiles with rules and rituals rather they tell the gentiles to be loving kind and compassionate to one another as our lord and master was i would like to share with you my little experience soon after my ordination i was invited by group of sisters to preach retreat to them i prepared my talks and on the appointed day i went to the convent and i preached my first talk after the talk i went back to my room and after a few seconds there was a knock on my door i said please come in and i saw an elderly sister walking into my room i told her sister please sit down she sat down and then she said father while you were giving your talk i was observing you you were nervous you were sweating you were shivering why and i said sister your observation is absolutely correct while i was giving my talk i was nervous i was sweating i was shivering because i was trying to use high theological words high theological ideas in order to impress you all and then she told me very important truth she said father in order to impress we do not need high theological ideas or high theological words what we need is little bit of love little bit of understanding jesus knew this important truth and that is why in today's gospel he tells his apostles to love one another love is to wish the good of the other purely for the sake of the other love is to wish the good of the other purely for the sake of the other amen